Lewis is up. He says, any ideas on how I can get my Google my Google business listed? Have attempted several times, and I'm on the, my last chance to get approved for a local business. I work my office out of my home, and I'm listed in the local site for Yahoo, Bing, and Apple, but not Google. Any thoughts? I'm not sure what the problem is, Lewis. Um, you shouldn't be having any issues if you added your uh, site through Google My Business. If you created a listing in Google My Business, and they should be sending you a verification postcard, right? Well, it's, it's not really a postcard. It looks like a postcard, but you have to open it up, right? That's really all that should be required. I don't know why you're not uh, receiving that. Uh, it doesn't really make any sense to me. Um, I don't know what, what, what other issues are there, Lewis. Without having more details, it's kind of hard for me to give you any advice on that. Go ahead, Marco. I've heard of people getting turned away because they're in a residential area rather than a a place I've never where had that happen. But I've, I've, I, yeah, I've, I've had it happen. So maybe that that's the problem that that, that he ran into. But he well, should be able to case, call them and get in, get it straightened out and explain what it is that he's doing. Yeah, you know that Google My Business um, help support or whatever is better than. It used to be. Uh, I don't know how responsive they are, like how quick they are to respond. So, Lewis, if you haven't attempted reaching out to Google directly through their support channels and trying to get that resolved, um, you know that can be a bit of a nightmare. The other way, be, and the only reason I say that is because, I, and I, I mentioned this on the Mastermind webinar earlier this week. Uh, I had a, a client that their listing disappeared in Maps last year. <clears throat> it was around springtime last year in 2015, and um, we ended up having to get Google support involved and they they did admit that it was a problem on their end, but it took them six months to, re well, not six months, it was about four months, maybe four and a half months to get it fixed. And for four and a half months, my customers, my clients, uh, maps listing was gone. It just was gone. And, and they were number one in maps for three years up until that point. So it was really strange. And so dealing with Google support sucked because it took four and a half months to get it resolved, even though they admitted that it was their problem. Um, so my, my guess is like, if you have to deal with support, like if you, if you're, if you adamantly want your GMB listing tied to your home address, cause you got a home office, then, uh, you know, like for example, if you have customers for your business come to your location, I would assume you don't since it's at your house, you you have a home office. Typically, people that work out of their home don't have customers come to their location. So there's no need to show your address and to have a maps pin. People aren't going to be requesting driving directions. If that's the case for you, then you're, you're probably going to want to do that anyways, right? So, uh, But my suggestion is if you don't require customers to come to you, then um, you can always register a P.O. box at your local post office, use the street address option, and then register that as your business address. Right, and then hide the hide the address from Maps, which is an option inside of Google My Business when you set up your listing. Don't hide the address until after you get your verification postcard in the mail, though. But that's what I do because that's what I've got a lot of um, you know local um, lead gen sites set up that way, and uh, and I prefer it that way. So, anyways, just just try those and see. You know, again, if 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 you have to have a Maps pin on at your house because of people coming, you know, requesting driving directions, that kind of stuff then you're probably going to want to reach out to Google My Business Support and get involved with them. I know they're more responsive than they used to be. I don't know how quick they are to resolve issues, though. They're like the federal government. They're slow <laughs> to move. Um, but, you know, if you don't need a pin tied to your house, then I would recommend just getting a P.O. box because that would separate your business directly from your home address anyways, which, in my opinion, is a smarter way to go um, just for, you know, I don't want people knowing my home address if possible.